Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Grace and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. If you will hear his voice, harden not your heart. As our lesson comes to us today from Hebrews chapter 3, verse 7 through verse 19. We are encouraged. Do not let this happen uh, to you. What happened? Do God led Israel out of Egypt through their constant rebellion cause God to swear that these people would never enter into his place of rest. The generation that began their journey from Egypt would not make it to Canaan. Numbers 14, verse 10 through verse 38, and Joshua chapter 1, verse 12 through 8. So we should be careful, the scripture says, and remind each other daily not to harden our hearts, those who have yet to believe and miss God's eternal rest. Many unbelievers may live in a state of procrastination. What is procrastination? Putting off that which we can do today for some other opportune time. And of course, that opportune time is not promised, so it may never come. So we will see that procrastination can be a big problem. Important tasks are neglected and set aside and the benefits of finished work never come to pass. So when we procrastinate in spiritual matters, it can be very, very disastrous. The scripture declares that every person is going to spend eternity somewhere, either in hell or in heaven with God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is in this life the determination or the choice is make where we will spend eternity. Either we will accept what God did for us through Jesus Christ at Calvary, or either we will reject the forgiveness of sin that is offered to us by way of of God sending his only son. We may say that eternity seems to be in the distant future. There is much to be enjoyed in this world or in this lifetime. But we might be making a sad mistake by delaying our salvation by delaying making this vital decision and leaving it for later. Sometimes one may just assume they'll just wait until maybe they are older in life or maybe while I am sick or an, I am on my deathbed or while I'm drawing closer to death then I will ask Jesus to save me. And many times, this is the language of some unbelievers. This reasoning can be so
so wrong. We do not know how long we will live. Neither is there any guarantee that one will have any warning before death. By spending a lifetime rejecting Christ's offer of salvation would be a lifetime wasted. One runs the risk of developing an hardened heart. Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 13. But as we must exhort one another daily, let us encourage our friends, our loved ones, the people in our circle of influence to accept Christ while it is today. The Bible says, whilst it is called today, lest any of you be hardened or hearts become hard through the deceitfulness of sin. So we know that sin deceives. Living in sin, we are thinking and feeling that everything is okay. And I will just wait. Some people will tell you, yes, I know that there is going to be an eternity, but I've been hearing this for such a long time. And so here comes uh, the neglect or the spurning or brushing the offer of salvation aside. When we frequently say no to God through the life we live and not accepting Jesus Christ, our interest will become less and less in Christ and then the offer as it were still stands but not much attention is given to it or interest is somewhere else maybe seeking the things of this world there is great danger in abusing the grace of God what is the grace of God the grace of God is what God gives to Jesus Christ God's riches at Christ's expense he is the one who paid for our sins at Calvary but we must believe and accept that which he did for us knowing that he died substitutionary in our place and in our stead because we are the ones who were supposed to pay for our sins the bible declares that the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ so in a um, all those who are not protected by salvation in Jesus Christ will face one day the terrible reality of judgment. It will be awful to stand before God without a Savior because salvation was neglected. The choice was not made in this lifetime to accept Christ. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26 and verse 27. When one puts off a decision for Christ, one not only lose the immediate blessings of a deep personal relationship with God now, but also risk further separation from him for all eternity. Do not procrastinate. Do not put off accepting salvation 
any longer. Come to Christ today. For tomorrow might just be too late. Tomorrow is not promised to anyone. And that's why we often say, yesterday is gone. And tomorrow may never come. All we have is today, the present time. We speak often as yesterday being in the tomb. We cannot get it back. Tomorrow is not promised. It is in the womb. It has not yet come. Therefore, today is the day of salvation. So we can trust God. Take him at his word and come for salvation. The song says, come every soul by sin oppressed. There is mercy with the Lord and he will surely give you rest by trusting in his word. For Jesus shed his precious blood rich blessings to bestow plunge now into the crimson flood that washes white as snow yes jesus is the truth the way that leads you into rest believe in him without delay and he will fully bless come then and join this happy band and on to glory go to dwell in that celestial land where joy immortal flows only trust him only trust him he will save you he will save you now Today is the day of salvation. Accept Jesus Christ, what he did for you at Calvary by dying for your sins. And as the scripture says, do it today. Today is the day of salvation. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please like comment share and don't forget to visit my youtube channel daily med with 